guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Monica and today I'm gonna be getting ready with discontinued makeup products which really kind of bums me out because when I was preparing for this video I mean discontinued makeup always bums me out but it's always the good things that are discontinued like what are the brands thinking when they discontinue these amazing products because every single thing that I have here is a favorite. I wish that I could hate some of these, but these are all truly favorites and have been favorites for years. So when I was preparing for this video, I was just getting <laughs> progressively more bummed because I was like, oh my gosh, these are all some of my holy grails and here they are being discontinued. How much of a bummer is that? I'm gonna get ready with as many of these as I can. We have a couple of eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna get ready with one and then I will like cover the ones that I didn't get a chance to use like later on in the video and I'll show clips of me using them while I talk about them. It's kind of like how I do my favorites videos. I kind of like that format so I hope you guys do too. But without further ado, let's get even more bummed and start getting ready with some amazing products that you can no longer get your hands on. We're going to start off with what has been a favorite since almost like the beginning of my channel. So this is the Maybelline Nudes of New York eyeshadow palette they discontinued this beautiful wonderful palette and I have no idea why because it was easily like the best eyeshadow palette at the drugstore but of course it was because that would just mean that they would discontinue it I in particular I mean I love the entire palette but the one shade that I never can find a replacement for is this one right here like this one it's the shade heroin it is the best there is not another eyeshadow color out there exactly like it which is funny because it's very boring but I love this. What I would do anytime I wore this, I use it so sparingly now, so I don't use it a ton. But anytime I would wear this just for like a quick eye look, I would take the shade Heroin and I would put it in my crease and kind of all over. And then I would top my lid off with this shade in this upper right corner, which is Originator. That was like one of my favorite eyeshadow looks. So boring, I know, but it just like, there was, there's nothing like it. Um, it's just literal perfection. The mattes in here are absolutely gorgeous and I would just love to like do an all matte like smoky look. I did that quite a lot like if I dress it up. But I don't use this very much anymore because I'm like I can't even get my hands on it. I think you can still get it on Amazon so I think you'd be okay to do that now because it hasn't been discontinued for too long to where those are expired. So if you want to get your hands on it, it's like nine or ten bucks or something on Amazon. It's totally worth it. I just went into that shade Heroin that I was telling you I loved. And I know I'm going to get so bummed using this because I adore this palette. It is so easy and simple and just the prettiest. I mean, it's so easy, simple. <laughs> Gosh, I can't even get it out. I'm so, I'm so like in love with it and so upset about it. But it is. It's like the most simple eye look but it just it, it looks so nice the shimmers in here are shimmery and they they like go on really really nicely but they're not super sparkly I miss shimmers like that I feel like you don't see those as much anymore like look how beautiful this is Ugh. I feel like even in person it's like just so nice and I know the word demure is being thrown around a lot but it really is so demure. I thought I was gonna do a more detailed eye look, but because I just told you like what my go-to look was with it, I kind of want to show you it. So I'm just going to now go into that shade Originator and take it on my finger and just go all over the lid. Maybe you can kind of see it's just going on like such a nice wash. Oh, this makes me so mad. And none of Maybelline's other like eyeshadow palettes have this sort of formula. They're just chalkier they're not nearly as good this was the best one and like they should bring it back they sh don't change a thing about it just bring it back because honestly I truly believe if I just had this eyeshadow palette I wouldn't need another one I really wouldn't see like look how pretty this is just so wearable but you still have a little bit of a shimmer I just love it and it makes me so depressed you can't get it. I just feel like this whole video is going to be me going, I'm so sad, I'm so depressed, but I am. So now I'm going to go into the shade Self Starter, and I'm just taking on this like e.l.f. eyeliner brush, and I'm just lining my um, upper lash line just to kind of make them look a little fuller at the base. I didn't always do this when I wore heroin and originator. 
a lot of times I would just wear them and just like have mascara on and that would be it. But I kind of feel like putting a little bit of like a liner effect on, so. Ugh, so pretty. So I threw some foundation on because luckily none of the good foundations and or concealers have been discontinued. So at least we have that. There's a silver lining, I suppose. But anyway, moving on, the next product that we need to talk about is this loose powder from L'Oreal. It's their infallible loose setting powder. It is one of the best powders ever. Setting powders for under your eyes, wherever your smile lines. I didn't even realize that this was discontinued. They don't ever let you know. They just do it. They just pull the rug out from under your feet. Now when you go to the website, like L'Oreal's website, it says, oh, this product's been discontinued with like a like sad little faded picture in the background. So um, at least they're acknowledging it. Some brands, like one of the ones that we're gonna talk about today that has discontinued quite a few of their best products, sometimes they just won't say anything. They'll just take them off the website. I do still have a couple of backups of this. Um, this being one, and then I have one more. But other than that, like, I think maybe you could get them on Amazon, but I just, I need to know why they keep doing this, because this makes your under eyes and your smile lines so nice and crease free and smooth. I just like to go in lightly with a sponge on this. Ugh. It's not at all like the Maybelline Fit Me that I also really like, like the loose powder. It's a lot lighter than that. That one has like, actually has a little bit of coverage. This one doesn't really provide coverage. It just makes you like crease free and smooth. And I love it. I, I've never found another loose powder quite like this one. And I love the Maybelline just as much as this one. It just is different. Like this one and that one, they are my favorites, different reasons. But now I have to use this sparingly just can't get your hands on it. It's really irritating. So while that is setting, I want to move on to one of the highlighters that has been discontinued from the brand who just doesn't tell you that they're leaving. This is the About Face Light Lock Stick Highlighter. I have it in two shades. I'm going to use the shade Greek Tragedy today, which is like this more warm, like tone golden. It's not actually like a super warm gold, but it's the one that I use when I'm self-tan. The one that I use when I am fair is in the shade... Please indulge me, so this one's Please Indulge Me, Greek Tragedy. These are amazing. These are some of the best cream highlighters out there. And what does she do? She just discontinues them. I love Halsey, but girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? These are some of the best. She's replaced them with like things that aren't even the same. Like it's not like she like breeded the packaging. Like she just took them out. No forewarning or anything. I just love these so much. I love to just take them directly on my skin after foundation. I don't have any powder on my face, just under the eyes where you just saw me put it. And I literally just like to blend it with my fingers. And it's not overly sparkly, like it's a little sparkly, but it just adds such a nice glow. It's so pretty. It makes me so mad that you can't get them. Like, what do you mean? This has been discontinued. It is gorgeous, lovely, lit from within highlighter but also like it's just beautiful like it's so easy so quick i love it i love the packaging <sighs> i can't even get it anymore makes me so so mad so i guess i can use the other two highlighters that she's also discontinued from the same sort of line this is the light lock fluid this is in the shade shaken or stirred i know technically i just used the other highlight but you know what why not? Another beautiful highlighter. I'm not even a liquid highlighter person. I think she's just like repackaged this one, if I'm remembering right. Can't entirely say for sure. I'm gonna have like really highlighty cheeks tonight. It is so beautiful. This one's more of a wet look. I just, ugh, you could never run out of it. These were my favorite from the brand. Ugh, it's just, it's so pretty. Like, look at that wet but not like super sparkly just like a nice dewy look Ugh. so i'm gonna powder the rest of my face wipe off the powder i have the l'oreal one that i have under my eyes and on my smile lines and then after i powder i'm gonna come back and we're gonna use the light lock powder highlighter these are all gone why, why would she do this i did powder a little bit over the cream and liquid highlighter i put on so you could really see this one shine i have this one in the shade stars on fire which is this like really 
fun, almost like pinky shade. I'm using this Wayne Goss brush. Brush, I couldn't get that out. I um, this is a little bit punchier, but just love to use it when I'm wanting to look really highlighted, but not too sparkly. Just really glowy. There's a little bit of a glitter, but not like chunky. It's so smooth, so much fun. Oh my gosh, I don't usually put highlighter on before the other ones, like before blush and bronzer, unless it's liquid, but I just had to show you this one. <sighs> I'm so bitter, I'm so bitter. L'Oreal discontinued their True Match Lumi Bronze It. This gorgeous bronzer. I have this in the lightest shade. Hopefully it'll work, because I am tanner right now, but I didn't, you know, I only have the light shade for when I'm fair. This was like the OG glowy bronzer. I used it and loved it so much. And I started realizing I couldn't find it, but then it kind of would come back in stock, go out of stock, come back. No, no, it's just been discontinued now. Like, it's just gone. And I don't know why they would do that, because this was, like, their best bronzer up until, of course, the infallible one, which I love. But why did they have to replace this with that one or just get rid of it completely? Because... That one is totally different than this one. This one has a glow. They're both really smooth because of course they are. L'Oreal is wonderful at that, but they're completely different. Different undertone. This one's very cool. That one is a little bit more of a traditional bronzer shade. Ugh. But I mean, this was my go-to just simple, natural bronzer. I just would love to throw this on. I especially used it in the winter because I loved like having a little bit of a dewier bronzer. And it's not overly luminous, just, it's just right. It really is. It's like the Goldilocks bronzer. A little bit of glow, um, not too, too bronzery, but just enough to where you could bronze your face up with it without it being too orangey. It's just beautiful. Even like on my self-tan skin, I feel like you can see it and it's beautiful and it's smooth and it's not patchy and why do they always do this? I, I don't know, especially L'Oreal and Maybelline. Like, what are the two of you doing? You always do this stuff. <laughs> so recently I did a short on Ulta Beauty's in-house collection, getting a little bit of a revamp, and everything is gorgeous now. However, I was realizing when looking back on that footage that for their blush, they've replaced it. They now have like a faux glow blush or whatever it's called now. And they just completely took out some of their best products. The Ulta Beauty Mineral Blush, best product in their line. Um, or at least one of them. I didn't, I thought it was just a revamp, but no, they just completely took these out. I have it in two different shades. We have a more like natural daily shade. This is the shade Tiger Lily. Doesn't matter, you can't get your hands on it. <laughs> and this is the shade Stargazer, a little bit mauvier. We're gonna use Stargazer today because I am a little bit tanner. Um, I just love this so, so much. Tiger Lily was the first one I bought and I just, it made me fall in love with blush. It was like my transition blush into just really getting into blush after not being a blush person for a while. And then I picked up Stargazer and loved it just as much. And they've just completely taken it out. There's no shades similar to these. Like I'm sure there's like shades somewhat similar, but they're not the same. Um, and I just need to know, what are they thinking? Why are they doing this? Because when brands like revamp, I'm like, that's awesome. But why do you have to take out some of your best products. I don't understand. Now that I have fully gotten ready, I do have just three more products actually to talk about. And um, we're going to start off with the eyeshadow because that's where I always start off anyway. Of course, I couldn't not mention the Tati Beauty palette. I know that this one has been mentioned so many times in these sorts of videos, and that's part of the reason I didn't actively get ready with it today because everybody talks about this or everybody has talked about it being discontinued, being one of the best products that was ever discontinued, which is awful. The whole company closed down. The brand closed down. Hopefully she will bring it back, but this was ahead of its time in quality and just like the layout, the thought process behind it, the metallics, or I'm sorry, the glitters, the metallics, the sequins, and the mattes. Doesn't look like I've really used it that much because I got this and then she pretty much shut down like very quickly after that. So once she closed down, I immediately halted use of it. I hadn't gotten a ton, ton of use out of it anyway because I had just recently gotten it. But then I really started to limit when I used it, which was pretty much like when I would go out to use the glitters and I just, would use it very sparingly 
and it looks almost brand new because of that. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love the layout. I love the setup. I love the fact that you have options here for like how much sparkle you want to use. The mattes are beautiful, the shimmers are beautiful, the glitters are beautiful, the metallics are beautiful, they're just all beautiful. And it's just such a bummer that you can't get your hands on this. You haven't really been able to for like, what, four years now? Total bummer. The next thing I wanna talk about is this L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. I literally got my hands on this and then they discontinued it. They seem to have only discontinued like half of this line because I still think you can get like their tinted serum or whatever. But this is gone. I don't know why. It's literally the perfect matte blush. I got it in the shade Rosewood and it is gorgeous. I love it so much. Once again, once I realized it was <laughs> discontinued, I use it sparingly because you can't get your hands on it. It's the smoothest, most beautiful matte blush and I'm typically of a like a glowy blush person but that is my favorite matte blush. It's better than the infallible one. I ended up discontinuing the infallible one and keeping this one because I just feel like the shades are better and I like the formula just a smidge more. It's not quite as punchy as the infallible one, but it still has the same longevity and beautiful like application. So, and the last thing I want to talk about is something that I've been bitter about since it happened. This is the Winky Luxe Strobing Balm. It's like a cream highlight that you dip in and go on. It is perfection and the fact that they discontinued this when it literally kept selling out over and over and over again makes zero sense to me. This was my favorite Winky Lux product. I currently love their like liquid contour, so if they discontinue that, I will be equally as bummed about it because they just kill it and then when they kill it, they apparently just think, oh, we've done our duty here, like let's just discontinue it. And it's the dumbest idea ever. I just hate that brands do this. It really drives me insane. So anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys could enjoy it as much as you could enjoy a video like this. I just kind of felt like showing you products that were unreasonably discontinued. They're amazing. These are all still holy grails. I just use them a lot more sparingly because I can't replace them when I run out. And I think the one that I'm most bummed about is still uh, the News of New York and the Tati Beauty Palette. I just feel like those are completely irreplaceable. Nothing else competes with them, including other high-end brands compared to the Tati Beauty one or high-end and drugstore brands compared to the News of New York. So. It's really bitter, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If this happens to be the first time that you're stumbling across my channel, definitely go check out what I put out there. Check out my videos. See if you like what I do. And if you do, subscribe. Like I said, I'd love to have you become a part of my family over here on the internet long term. But anyway, that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. But I do hope you guys have the best rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.